Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys about makeup and skincare. Now note ahead of time, I am not a dermatologist. I just have had skin issues in the past and I've done a lot of research and just talked to a lot of different people. So one of the things that um, I really want to talk about is, is how your face reacts with different makeup. So I am obsessed with makeup. Um, I literally own so many different products from so many different lines. I love being able to transform your looks. It's just something I'm into. But one thing I have noticed was every time I would change something that would apply to my face, whether it was a day cream, a night cream, a face wash, a foundation, whatever it was, for the first week, I literally would break out. I'd break out right here. I'd break out here. I would sometimes break out a little up here. I would just break out and I had no idea why. It didn't matter what product it was. I would just break out and I work on TV and film sets. So one day I just started talking to some of the makeup artists on set and I told them my problem and I'm like, is this normal? Like I know I have sensitive skin to a point, but this is getting a little ridiculous because there's so many different kinds of foundations I wanted to try at that point and just different things I wanted to play around with but I was scared because I didn't want it to make my face look like I was 16 and in high school again so I was talking to these makeup artists and they asked me well are you allergic to anything do you know your allergies and a few months before this whole situation arose um I did get told that I have a gluten allergy. So, um, you know, I kind of changed my eating as best as I can. I, I'm sometimes bad, but I pay for it later, trust me. <laughs> um, but I told them, you know, I did find out I'm really not allergic to anything, but I do have a, a gluten allergy that I recently found out about. And they literally told me that could be your problem. A lot of makeup contains gluten. And... It's not something a lot of people talk about, but if you have a gluten sensitivity, it can affect you in different ways. So putting this information together, I kind of like laid out on my floor all of my makeup and just started looking through the ingredients, which is something I didn't really do before. And um, I found out most of my makeup contained gluten. So this is a little tip that people don't talk about very often but if you're breaking out a lot check and see if you have a gluten sensitivity and if you already know you have a gluten sensitivity and you're breaking out from different makeup or changing up your routine because I do know it takes your skin like one to two weeks to get used to a product which was what I was finding when I was trying all these makeup foundations I was finding I'd have acne for one to two weeks and then I was good, I could use that product, but I couldn't go back to the product I was using before without having to break out all over again. It was awful. So check your products. There are a few gluten-free lines. Um, I actually, I started a makeup line mainly because of this situation. <laughs> and so my line is gluten, 100% gluten-free, which is called Exotic Fixing Cosmetics. But there are also other lines, such as Bare Minerals, Bite Beauty. These are amazing lines. Afterglow Cosmetics. These are gluten-free lines. And if you have a gluten allergy, I totally suggest looking into different gluten-free lines and trying them out. Because one thing I noticed was when I took my foundation that was gluten-free for the first time and I put it on my face and I was so nervous, so nervous I was going to break out. Um, I put it on my face, and that night when I took my makeup off, like, I wasn't feeling any any irritation or anything. I was like, okay, holding my breath. And then um, a few days into it, I would have already started to see some, like, acne or feel it at least. Wasn't feeling or seeing anything. And since then, I literally have tossed out my non-gluten-free products, and my skin has cleared up tremendously. Don't get me wrong, 
you know, every now and then you get a hormonal situation outbreak happening here, but it has literally cleared my face. And I've tried so many different gluten-free cosmetics that have not irritated my face or caused that breakout. So I have now learned it might not necessarily be your skin type. It could be an allergy such as gluten. So check your makeup and uh, let's hope you uh, found the cure to clearing up that foundation problem that I know I struggled with for ever, like ever. So yeah, if you guys liked this video, please click the like button, click subscribe. I'm going to be posting more tips. I'm going to do some beauty tutorials and um, yeah, hope to see you guys soon. We gon' wick it down, can't let the night just slip away We gon' take you round and round, just let the DJ let it play All these girls out on the floor, we gon' take all of this floor We gon' take you down, get close to me, for me, put on the show